What's going on, world? I'm George Kill, and we're here in Philly with Lionel Brody of the Villanova Wildcats. How you doing, Lionel? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, man. So tell me, what do you have to show us here today? Well, this is the Davis Center for Fitness and Athletics. It's our men's basketball, women's basketball practice and training facility, and then also the third floor is a gym for faculty, staff, students, and people in the in the township area of Villanova. Right, right. So first, before we take this tour, like we're, you know, a recruit, tell us about that moment, the national championship, the shot. What were you doing during that time? This is going to sound ridiculous, but I'm really superstitious. Okay. Uh, the last basketball game that I watched, we lost. So I kind of hang out after I finish setting up the locker room. I hang out in the locker room until like I know we're up comfortably or the game is over. And I've never told anybody this. I was in a locker room the whole game, fever of 102. I walked out of the locker room thinking that we had it won because I saw like the wristbands for the encore celebration. As I walk out to the locker room, Marcus Page hits that shot and ties the game. So I turn around, run back to the locker room, and before I get there, <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, let's check it out. Cool. This is the atrium of the Davis Center. This was all revamped over the summer. So we have the NABC National Championship Trophy on display right in the center. This video in the background is video board. It plays highlights during the year. The side of the wall, the Nova Nation, this hasn't changed since it opened. Once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat is something that you'll see throughout uh, a lot of the building. That's basically like once you are part of the Villanova family, you're always a part of the family. And speaking of family, when did you become a part of the Wildcat family? I actually am from West Philadelphia, so where I grew up a Nova fan. I remember as a kid watching them win a championship in 85 and like being excited about it. I, I went to school here and graduated in 2001, long, long, long time ago. Um, so I've been family for a while. I started working here in 2007. This is a new trophy case. On the left, it's the 1985 National Championship. This is our current championship from this past season. And you can see NCAA, there's a lot more that goes into it now than 20, 30 years ago. Coach Wright's uh, Coach of the Year trophy and the National Coach of the Year trophy. And then the actual game ball from the National Championship. Over here is the women's basketball section. Jess Wamala is a Rhodes Scholar, so put that up there because academics first, obviously. Um, Shelly Pennyfather was probably our best player ever. Harry Peretta is our coach. He's the only coach that we've had here uh, in Villanova history. Several hundred wins last season, and then some of their uh, hardware over the past couple of, couple of seasons. This floor right here is the first floor of the Davis Center. It's women's basketball offices. You see the light blue on the wall. This was added this summer, new graphic. The big silver verbiage on the wall is going to be plaques under and pictures under each of these. And we're in a transition period in the whole Davis Center. So um, if you guys came back in a couple of weeks, you'll see updated photos and plaques and awards on the wall. So this door right here will lead us out into the men's basketball practice court. Big E specs, Big E's logo in the middle. This is the court that we'll practice on throughout the summer, throughout the season. Um, every once in a while, we'll go across the street to the pavilion and practice over there if it's before a pavilion game. Or if we're going down to play at the Wells Fargo Center where the Sixers play, then we'll have a practice there the day before and then a walkthrough the morning of. So as most people know, we're a Nike school. A lot of people focus on the footwear that we put on our players, but I wanted to highlight some of the stuff that the coaches wear. This is the Vomero 11 Team Bank TB. We try to get a comfortable shoe, but something that a lot of people can't get in stores, so we still have that level of exclusivity to it. Last year, it's Fly Knit Free right here, which was a coach's shoe. So we'll do like some team shoes, some team colorway shoes, but we'll also try to find stuff in line that's hot, that, uh, that kind of matches our colorway. Maybe it steps outside the box a little bit, but still brings it back to like those, those core Villanova colors. And this is this year's Free Fly Knit. Great shoe, probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. And then this shoe, is a Janoski Nike SB shoe. Every year in January, in the last, the last week of January, all of the coaches do like a shoots and sneakers thing for cancer. We'll do a casual Nike ID shoe with our humble and hungry mantra on it. This was uh, from maybe two or three years ago. Our relationship with Nike has been nothing but great. They keep us in the conversation of every new activation that they're doing, whether it's a new shoe, a new sock, a new uniform, um, a new travel suit. It's great working with the swoosh, and I've been a Nike guy my whole life, so it's a, you know, it's a 
cliche to say a dream come true, but it's nice to work with a company that you believe in. So this weight room is men's and women's basketball only. Our strength coach, John Shackleton, got everybody on a great strength and conditioning program. This also is going through a transition, so they're bringing in that barbell rack and that dumbbell rack, I'm sorry, are new. I put some of our training shoes in here, kind of display those off. This is a shoe we started women's basketball. This is just for the weight room only. So they'll get a weight room shoe, a bunch of shoes for the court, travel shoe. That's their weight room shoe only. Some players are trying to play in it right now. I'm trying to convince them that might not be a great idea, but really in love with that shoe. This shoe right here is for men's basketball coaches and women's basketball coaches and players for travel. Um, the Air Max 2016, almost a Villanova colorway, dark navy with the light blue pop. Love that shoe. This is the shoe that men's basketball is wearing. The Zoom Train Speed, Team Bank, Team Colors. You'll see this shoe on pretty much every big time college football program on the sideline as a sideline shoe. Some schools have the logos on them. They also did an NFL version for every team in their, in their color. So we try to get something that's dope. And this is another shoe that we use. We used this last year, Air Max 2015. Solid neutral gray for coaches. They really like that shoe a lot. And Lionel, talk about the branding. You guys have added new equipment and the branding is just crazy because you have V's pretty much everywhere, right? Correct, so if you notice, there's V's engraved into the top of the rack stand. There are V's on the side of the dumbbells. This is a whole new system. Like I just found out about this yesterday. So you have like your, your core weights right here and then these are magnets. So you take these off and then you put them on like that when you want to add weight to it and then to take them off, you twist and pull off. So this is a new technology for us. Another thing, another one of our mantras is we play for those that come before us. And that ties into the line of once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat, how we like to keep our alums involved in, you know, everything we do now, we're doing for the people who preceded us. This one up this morning, it used to be on the screen right here and, and now this looks amazing. So as you can see, we have our four pillars here again. Play hard, play together, play smart, play with pride as you as the building just to remind you like you're always representing the family, always representing the program. Now we're getting ready to head into our men's basketball locker room. As a guest at Villanova, we wanted to make sure you didn't leave empty handed. So this is our new Nike Elite Collection, a part of it. A couple of coaches, polos, team t-shirt, amazing hoodie, nice Nike golf. So this is for you guys to take on behalf of Villanova basketball. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. Yeah, I definitely look like Jay Wright in these. Well, I appreciate it. We'll mix up our footwear with uh, a couple of different things. We'll do some inline stuff like the hyper rod, hyper dunk, hyper shift, hyper chase. And we'll do some Nike ID stuff. Um, and then also we get a lot of stuff directly from Nike that's custom for us, which is really, really nice because some other schools don't get that. So this Kobe right here, we got that last year. This came ring directly from Nike. One of the good things about a shoe like this is once we get shoes and we'll put them on our social media, or people to see our players in them. There's always this rush on campus of other people trying to go on Nike ID and recreate the shoe. So I like when we get something that I know it can't be, it could be the smallest little difference that makes it that much more unique. So if you can't make it on Nike ID, then we know that like we're a step ahead of the rest of the pack. This KD is a Nike ID that we created. The way we do our Nike ID program is, we'll take three or four shoes, I'll design them up, I'll present them to the players and I'll let them pick what shoe they want to get. So everybody doesn't have to get the same shoe. Who would you say is your biggest sneakerhead on the team? I gotta say Josh Hart. Like we have a lot of people on the team who love sneakers, but Josh is probably our, our biggest guy. The new KDs right here, got a LeBron. Jordans, which we don't really wear Jordans on court because we're not a Jordan school. The Air Max Audacity, which is worn by Davis from the Hornets. This, it's not a signature shoe, but that's the shoe he's been wearing. This is a, a LeBron shoe that we Nike ID for the players. It got the VU on the back. Hungry's in a one tongue and then Humble's in the other one. Low top shoe, just in line. And then this Josh brought out for picture day the other day, throwback Zoom Soldier, which really turned my head a little bit when I saw this. I found out that he recently bought these. So this is a new shoe, not something that he kept from the past, but definitely a throwback. My personal favorite Zoom Soldier of all time. This is a Kyrie one. Nike ID, one of our players made. This right here, this was a top 25 shoe. What Nike does is 
They'll come out at the beginning of the year with their, their catalog, so the Hyper Dunk down to the Soldier, the Acidy or whatever, and then say they start off the year with your team colorway, so navy with a white pop, green with a white pop, and et cetera. So you wear that for the first part of the season up until like conference play, and then if you're a Nike school in the top 25, they'll either introduce a new shoe or give you one of the current shoes in the reverse of the colorway. So if you had this in white and navy to begin the season, they'll switch it to navy and white and kind of give you like a different, you know, more exclusive pop to start off conference play. This is the Hyper Chase Low. We got this shoe directly from Nike for our game in Pearl Harbor when we play Oklahoma. This ties in very nicely with the uniform that we wore. Remember to patch Pearl Harbor polos that the coaches wore with the same patch. And then this was the battleship that we were lucky to visit when we were out in Hawaii. This shoe right here, and I'll speak about this a little later, this was part of our Sweet 16 pack. Uh, Nike did a whiteout for all of the Nike schools for the Sweet 16. So every shoe that the Nike schools got came in in all white. They went to Oregon. They flew up, I believe it was Mr. Cartoon, if I'm not mistaken. They flew up an artist from California to paint the shoes in the team colorway. So if you can see a little bit like this, this is a game-worn shoe. One of my favorite shoes of all time. I designed this shoe. I love this shoe. It's got the VU on the side, older model. KD6, I believe this is. Love this shoe as well, I designed these. This is another top 25 shoe we received from Nike, Kobe's. Players love the Kobe's. Coaching staff loves them as well, so we'll get them the on-court shoes for the coaches. This was the packaging that all of the Nike schools received from the Sweet 16. So you open up this amazing box, and the box has got some weight to it too. It's got a nice storyline. Nike was doing the whole bring your game thing for the tournament last year. But the design on this is incredible. The detail, the Nova Nation, shoelace covers with the shoelace tips right there. And that's actually a tool to get the, the shoelace tips on actual shoelaces. And then this is one of the shoes that we received for the whiteout activation. LeBron with the navy swoosh, all white. Lionel, I know your shoe game has to be up there, huh? I don't want to say it's the best on campus, but it's legit the best on campus. And I don't really know how else to say it. I've been in a sneaker since I was nine years old. So I definitely, uh, I've, got some, I've got some heat. So we do two big women's basketball activations every year. One is We Back Pat for the Great Pat Summit. That color's purple. So I think that'll take on a, a bigger scale this year with the, with the recent events. We'll do like a, a purple dry fit with like the foundation logo on it. The players will wear purple socks. The coaches will wear a purple sneaker. For breast cancer, for the Play for K, we do a, a huge thing. I think we're gonna try to do roll out a pink uniform this year or sometime soon or like a white with navy blue and pink trim. A lot of people don't know that yet, so you guys got it first. We were lucky enough a couple years ago to find this in the Nike golf catalog, navy with the pink trim and white. So we added a breast cancer ribbon to it, blown over across the back. And this has been our breast cancer shooting shirt for the last couple of seasons. One of my favorite pieces. Just some of the shoes that the players will wear. Lowe's for the Lowe's. This was a great hyper rev from last year. A previous one, I love the shoe a lot too. We did a Nike ID for the coaches a couple of years ago. The one shoe says Think and the other one says Nova because it used to be Think Pink. So we kind of did a spin on that for the Think Nova. This hat right here, this hat is actually autographed by Nicki Minaj. She performed at our Hoops Mania a couple years ago. We had a hat left over. So this is a Nicki Minaj exclusive right here, Pink Friday. Some of our uniforms, we rotate five uniforms currently. This is our white home throwback uniform, 1985, our national championship throwback uniform from the 85. Love this uniform a lot, old school V with the Wildcat going through it. Traditional road jersey, navy. The new update for this year is this used to be a circle. If you're a Nike elite school, you have a circle at the apex of the neck. Um, with your logo in it and let people know that you're Nike Elite other than it's saying Elite on the actual product. Right. And then when you win a national championship, that circle changes into like a diamond. And if you feel it, it's like jeweled a little bit. Alternate gray uniform, love the gray. This is our traditional home jersey. New V logo at the top. So this stairwell was done last summer. A lot of great images up. 2003 Big East Champions. That year we made it to the Elite Eight for women's basketball. All of our final four teams are up here. So our first one in 1939 for men's basketball, 71 is up there. The other ones are, are going up the steps right here. This old school Kyle Lowry right there back in the day. 
Now we're walking into our men's basketball offices. Branding is here, this is brand new. Here's our cinema right here. Matt Kennedy diligently studying away. More hardware, some hardware from the past. The White House photo. That's me right there taking a picture with my iPhone. This kind of mimics the theme downstairs. It was actually done first with the light blue on the wall, kind of showing like our crowd and our, our Denova Nation, our crowd engagement. And then as you can see, the offices overlook the court. So this Coach Wright's office, as you can see, the once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat thing is, uh, again, it's prevalent. We play for those who come before us. Really our two bigger things other than attitude and then the, the four pillars. Well, Lionel, we'd like to thank you for giving us a tour of the National Championship Filling Over Wildcats uh, practice facility, man. Thanks for coming up, man. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, we yeah. definitely appreciate it. Yeah, you guys have some great things going on, and hopefully you can defend that, uh, that title. Let's hope.